It has been a heck of a year, hasn't it? <laughs> As we hit the midway point, I really just kind of wanted to take time out and discuss some of my favorite images and some of the images from creators that inspire me to get out and shoot. And hopefully, maybe you guys can get out and take some inspiration from them as well. As you guys know, I shoot around Holyoke a lot, but not often at twilight. And I think that's kind of where I needed to fine tune this composition that I've been working on for the last couple of months. The view from the bridge looking over the Holyoke Dam and, and Mount Tom in the background, it's, it's just a really, really nice scene. And those colors were just perfect. Beautiful summer night, no cars. Everything was really just quiet. It was kind of odd to see the town so quiet and, and sort of dead. The only places that were busy were the liquor store <laughs> where I shot for a couple of minutes, but uh, I came back and uh, I just, I couldn't resist this composition. And sometimes it's, you know, different colors and different seasons and different times of day that really can spark, um, you know, new ideas and, and really kind of just get you to where you wanted to be. And I think that's kind of what I got with this image. Let's talk about one of my favorite photographers, David Rothschild. Dave is an incredible photographer that documents the rugged landscape of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And one of my favorite parts of Dave's work is his dedication to the documentation process. He uses the term primitive America in his work, and it's a perfect turn of phrase to describe his work, but to put it in just a phrase is, is limiting. His work is incredibly powerful. In particular, his series of images from 2018 entitled Open Casket. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen these images before, but I do want to showcase some of my favorites. David takes us on this unique adventure through the hills of Virginia with a heavy focus on homes, both abandoned and perhaps not abandoned. It's the questions that arise from these images that are just as intriguing as the colors and compositions themselves. I love the juxtaposition from an image like this that's really vibrant, powerful, and, and, and colorful, and just right in your face to an image kind of like this. It's deep, it's it's ominous, it's it's really, really moody, and it, it feels dark, it feels a little bit dangerous, and that's sort of, that's a great part about photography. It, it invokes every emotion. Dave is a great photographer and an even greater person. If you've ever had the opportunity to speak with him, either in person or on Instagram or even on YouTube, um, you already know this, you're well aware of this, but um, please go reach out and uh, follow Dave on Instagram, follow him on his YouTube channel. He's been making much more content in the upcoming days and uh, I look forward to seeing what Dave continues to produce. Is this, is this yours? Yeah. Since the start of summer, it's just been kind of a whirlwind, but the one thing that stands out to me out of all the images that I've taken is this one here of a gentleman named Ernie. I was admiring his mint tan Plymouth when he approached he told me that he just sold it to a collector down the street. So the opportunity to capture Ernie and his prized Plymouth uh, 
well, those moments were fleeting. So I had to capitalize on that. I was able to actually send this image to Ernie and he was very, very happy to have it. And uh, it's really nice to be able just to capture a moment like that where, uh, well, it probably will never happen again. That car is gone. It belongs to somebody else and Ernie will never be able to, to drive it or to pose with it. So it's really nice. It's a really rewarding aspect of photography, especially with impromptu portrait photography to capture something so important in somebody's life that, well, he didn't know that he even wanted. Gregory Crutzen is a truly magnificent photographer, but his approach to creating images are much different from mine. Crutzen creates the story, the atmosphere, the energy that we all hope to find. Meticulously going through the small details makes every image that he and his team work incredibly hard at perfect. Creating these, these cinematic stills depicting small town life through the eyes of those and the dregs like this image are truly unique. A person sitting at a stoplight, deep in contemplation with an onlooker on the adjacent porch, it raises questions, but there are details in this image that provide answers. Some of my favorite images, like this one here of this woman looking out over a frozen lake, is is powerful. Just it invokes such emotion for me. It's something that I feel like I've lived, even though I haven't. But then there's things like this image here where it's, it's a little bit more supernatural, clearly something that's a little bit out of my realm and uh, clearly out of this world. But I think that's something that that Crudson does perfectly is, is create these subtly ominous and, and almost, you know, sci fi. Lastly, I wanted to showcase one image from my recent exploration through the farmlands of Western Massachusetts. This old barn made a small feature in a previous video, but I wanted to showcase these two images. Both shot on Sydney Still 800T from different vantage points. It's the intrigue of, of finding new compositions at old locations that always has me coming back and, and searching for more. The colors aren't what I would have hoped, but as is the case with Cine still, it's a very distinct look, has a little cooler tone, but uh, hey, it is what it is. It's what I decided to go with on this day. I actually don't even remember why I decided to do that. I still can't remember why I decided to do that, <laughs> but it is what it is. About to jump into Tick City. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, and stuck around to the end. And I really would encourage you to go check out Gregory Crudson's work on Instagram and, and follow his, uh, his, his daily goings on. He's always posting on his story and it's really interesting some of the things he posts. And obviously follow David Rothschild as well. Uh, Dave's going to be coming out with some videos soon on YouTube. So uh, go check that out too. Support these guys, support artists, and let me know what photographers inspire you. Drop their Instagram. I'd love to see your work. I'd love to see people that inspire you and, and, and just get to know you guys a little bit better. So uh, yeah, that'll wrap this video up. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Dedication, documentation, documentation, dedication, dedication, documentation, dedication. There we go.